Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to explain about what is an ML. So what is an ML? So if I ask you this question, you might easily say ML is nothing but a machine learning. Of course, even I don't know this thing. It's a machine learning, but what is a machine learning? For example, recently you have got a job, maybe as a machine learning engineer. Okay, just imagine you have got a job. ML engineer. So your role is ML engineer. Okay, and uh, you have been hired in this role. It's a two year experienced role. Okay, you have got some two year experience. You have been hired in this machine learning engineer role and your experience is two year. Okay, after getting into this ML engineer position, you have run, you have run few models, okay few models may be related to classification models or may be related to any other thing maybe recommendations or whatever it may be you have you have built some models real good models maybe you have got some results okay so you have got some results uh, for example you you have got some 85% accuracy okay from for your model you have got some accuracy that is 85 percent for your model okay so now uh, what is you might be thinking what is the relation of this uh, role and year experience for this ml you may be thinking like that but i'll tell you i'll connect the dots now okay so ml engineer is nothing but your position right so this might be your task. Why? Because whenever you you get on board in a company, so your role would be ML engineer. In the sense, you need to do some machine learning. Okay. In this role, you need to perform some kind of machine learning. So this would be your task. So this is your task. This is your task. And what is this here to your experience? This is nothing but your experience. Okay. And here, what is this 85% accuracy for your model or something? What is this? This is nothing but your performance. This is your performance. Okay. And what is this whole concept here? The whole concept is nothing but the whole concept is nothing but So what I'm trying to say is ML in the sense machine learning, it is nothing but a, it's a field of study. It's a field of study. Okay. Here, what happens? This usually, this gives your computer okay this gives your computer the ability it provides the power for your computer for doing what to learn to learn what to learn from the experience To learn from the experience okay to learn from the experience with respect to with respect to some task with respect to some task and uh, some 
performance. Okay. In the sense, what I'm saying is machine learning is nothing but a field of study. Okay. So machine learning is nothing but it's a field of study. It provides the ability for your computer to learn from the experience. In the sense, your computer, it usually learns some new findings from the past experience. Okay. With respect to some task that that learning or that finding is related to some kind of task for example some that is related to some kind of task and some exp some performance here what i'm saying is it, just imagine this scenario as an ml okay so here we are performing some kind of task that is ml engineer so we are uh, we are actually performing our responsibility as an ml engineer so you are actually doing some machine learning here in your office daily you have used your two years of experience as a data scientist okay you have used this past experience to work better now earlier you have faced some of the hardships in this two year uh, experience for example you have some faced some hardships or you have got some better knowledge here you have got better knowledge what to do and what not to do you have got some better knowledge here in your two year experience so now what we what we are actually doing is we are using this past knowledge in the sense we are using whatever the knowledge you have gained in this two year experience you are using it to perform your duty as a ml engineer and you have got some better results that is 85% which is way far greater than your previous performance in the sense Maybe in your two-year experience, this is your best accuracy. Maybe 75% is your best accuracy while conducting any machine learning model. This time, you have gained experience. You are using this knowledge which has given you 75% accuracy. You're using that knowledge and you're getting better and better every day. And this time, you have got some performance that is 85%. Okay. So here, what I'm trying to say is machine learning is nothing but a field of study. Here, we have some tasks and uh, uh, we need to perform the task how we can perform the task using this experience e okay so i'm saying experience is nothing but e performance is, is nothing but p task is nothing but t so ml is nothing but we need to perform task t okay using experience e after performing that we'll get a performance called p Okay, we need to perform task T using the past experience E and uh, we'll get a performance called P. This is nothing but ML in the sense machine learning. Now I'll, I'll provide you a, a real world example so that you can understand it better. Just take an example called spam filter, which I have already explained earlier. So what is this spam filter does usually? Whenever a new mail comes, maybe this is my new mail. This is a new mail. Whenever it comes, it usually classifies it as either it's a spam either it's a spam or it's a ham. So ham is there is no danger in it. It is quite perfect, but spam is this. This is having some of the keywords which are uh, usually irritate irritatable. So our ML algorithm, in the sense, our spam filter usually classifies either this or either that. Okay, it checks whether it's a spam or not. But how does it actually doing? So our machine learning algorithm usually is ha is provided with some of the huge data here so here we have it's a we are having some 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 huge data okay these are related to the past emails so this is nothing but a huge past email data so our machine learning algorithm is provided with this particular huge past email data 
So using this particular email data, it learns from the past experience. So in the past, what, ha what has happened is maybe uh, the, the keywords or the mails that are having these keywords, uh, maybe for you, okay. For example, for you, or maybe for you, these are the keywords that are actually uh, having in the spam category. Whenever an email occurs with this particular keyword that is for you or for you, obviously, uh, so these are the mails that are that should be uh, that should need to be go that should need to be go under the spam category. So what happens is our ML algorithm usually uh, reads the data. It understands the past data using this past experience, using the knowledge that has gained from the past experience, it usually classifies any new mail, which is actually coming as a new mail, whether it's a spam or a ham. Okay. So here we are saying this is a this is a past data. So whenever I say past data, it has some kind of name. That is nothing but example. Example data. Okay, this is called as example data, or we can also call it as training set. Training set. Why am actually why am I actually calling this as training set? Training set is nothing but your machine learning algorithm is getting trained on this exp on this past data. Okay, so it is actually getting trained on this earlier data which we have provided. After getting trained on this data it is actually performing some actions on the new data. So this here, a new mail is nothing but a new data. And here the past data is nothing but an, we can call it as example data, or we can also call it as training set. Okay. So here, So here, each training, for example, this is the huge data, right? So here, each training set, for example, this particular data is nothing but a training set, we have called it as. So I'm saying, each training, each training set, is called as training instance. So it can be called as training instance. We can also call it as a sample. People usually call this particular technical term by this name sample. We have heard this for several number of times in a data science community. We, we don't, most of the people won't call it by the name training instance. They will only consider this name that is sample. Okay, whenever anybody asks you what is a sample, the data or the past data that we usually uh, provide, that, you, that we usually provide to the machine learning model is nothing but a training set. So such an each training set is nothing but a training instance or we can easily call it as a such each training set is nothing but a sample. That is the thing. Now, earlier I have told you, so earlier I have told you three things, that is T and E and P. T is nothing but what? Task. To do something. E is nothing but what? Experience. Okay. Based on the experience only, you are going to perform some kind of task. Then only you're getting some kind of results or the performance. This is your performance. Okay, this is the performance measure. What is meant by performance measure? For example, earlier I have told you that I have got maybe 75% accuracy. This time I have got some 85% accuracy. See here, from 75 to 85, there is a significant jump here. So if I say some 10% has been improved, okay. 
So this 10% is nothing but your performance measure. So this is nothing but your performance measure. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, explain you these three terms using an example. For example, uh, this is my this is my ML algorithm or just imagine this is a in particularly this is a spam filter. Okay, I have uh, I have ordered this spam filter uh, to do to classify. Okay, to classify new emails. So here the job of this uh, spam filter is nothing but in the sense the task here for this is nothing but. Classify emails. Classifying new mails is this spam filters task. Okay. Now, what is the experience here? What is the experience here? So the here here the experience is nothing but uh, my algorithm is provided with some particular training data. In the sense, I'll be providing some training data to my algorithm past training data okay now what happens is here performance so what is this performance here here we'll see some kind of ratios for example uh, maybe it has totally classified some 10 new mails okay it has classified 10 new mails out of this 10 new mails it has classified as eight of them as spam and two of them as ham in the sense two of them are actually correct eight eight or eight of them are actually spam so these eight mails should be moved to the spam folder and these two mails should come under inbox folder okay for example when we say the performance measure we usually consider the ratio of the correctly specific correctly classified emails correctly classified emails in the sense for example in the 10 new mails actually uh, the thing is actually the thing is um for example eight spams eight mails have been classified as spams right out of what out of total 10 mails so here 8 by 10 okay out of total emails eight has been classified as spam so this is a ratio, right? So this is a kind of performance metric. Okay. And also out of 10 mails, how many of them are classified correct? Two. So two divided by 10. So this is a kind of ratio. This ratio is nothing but it's a kind of performance metric, performance measure again. Okay. So in this way, we usually, uh, we usually uh, get to know about this performance measure. So this is, what it is about uh, performance measure and also not only this ratio not only this ratio here we also have another thing called uh, um we also have another performance measure called accuracy so what is meant by an accuracy this is the most used performance measure it's a performance measure It's a performance measure mostly used in classification. Mostly used in classification. What is the accuracy here? For example, you have your model has been achieved some 85% accuracy. This is what an accuracy is nothing but here. You're saying your spam filter has does the job in terms of uh, fractions you're saying, in terms of ratios you're saying. But here, in terms of percentages, whenever you say your spam filter has, has done a job in terms of uh, percentage, then we call it as an accuracy. Okay. Yeah. I think we have discussed a lot in this video. Initially, I have talked about what is an ML. 
here i have explained uh, with the with the flow of an ml here we have i have already earlier told you ml is a field of study in which it usually performs some task t with its past experience e getting a performance measure p i have provided you uh, with sufficient examples that is spam filter i have explained you what will be the workflow of a spam filter it usually uh, it is usually equipped with the past training data which is nothing but an example data or we can also call it as training set so here training set is each training set is nothing but a sample we usually call it as a sample so here what is the job of this spam filter it usually classifies a new mail whether this particular new mail actually belongs to a spam folder or it does belong to a ham folder here I have told you each training set is called or each training instance or we can also call it as a sample. I have explained again this TEP that is task experience performance with the help of a spam filter example. Spam filter, it, its job is to classify new mails that is task T depending upon the training data it has been provided with that is experience E and uh, it usually uh, I mean, if you want to measure or if you want to compare it with with its previous results, we have few of the performance measures. That is, uh, we consider some ratios. I mean, out of total means how many of them were actually classified true, were correct. And uh, out of the total means how many of them were classified uh, falsely. So when you consider these ratios, those comes under performance measure and we also have another performance measure that is nothing but the accuracy that is uh, whenever you say your your model has been performed or your model has got some 85 percent of the uh, true results then it usually considers as accuracy so that's all for this video i'll see you in the next video take care